Tú lo escribes, ¿qué lo escribes, pendejo? Tú no escribes nada, cabrón, tú no haces nada, tú no haces nada. Yo lo escribí. Eres un pendejo, eso es lo que eres. Eres un baboso. Eres un pendejo, cabrón, porque están nomás ahí. Los que hacen todo es... The Mexican champion Canelo Alvarez almost punched Oscar De La Hoya in a heated moment. The shocking turn of events started when, just like every week, Oscar De La Hoya took to social media and verbally abused Canelo Alvarez for his fight against Edgar Berlanga. And as always, the most important topic of every week, Canelo. Ooh. Oscar De La Hoya claimed that he hasn't ended the beef with Canelo. He said that he hasn't talked to Alvarez and he is adamant at promoting his own fighters like Jaime Munguia. Oscar said that he is at the front and center of any boxing business and nobody will be able to keep him away, not even Canelo. Meanwhile, Canelo shared something very brutal about Oscar. He said that a person can expect anything from De La Hoya because it's his habit. I want to ask it in this way. Did you expect something from Oscar? Did you expect that he was going to come throwing grenades? You can expect from Oscar, you can expect anything like that. He's just throw Chet in for his moment. Alvarez revealed that Oscar doesn't care about promoting his fighters or focusing on the business. Rather, Canelo commented that Oscar always leaves his fighters when they need him the most. Alvarez further stated that Oscar should have focused on Jaime, but he is focusing on taking all the attention for himself. At this point, Nothing surprises Canelo about anything that comes from Oscar's end. Canelo shunned Oscar by stating that other than the attention he wants, Oscar continues to get high on drugs and alcohol. Just recently, Oscar De La Hoya shared that he warned Canelo not to fight Floyd Mayweather back when he was 21, but he didn't listen. Canelo, who actually I told Canelo, do not fight Floyd because you're too young. You have no experience. Right. Well, uh, I'm, but he's a much I'm, bigger man. He, that's what no, he's, he is, but he's 21 years old, flexing his muscles like I can take on Floyd. I'm the very best. Guess what? You got schooled. <laughs> Canelo was originally part of De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions Agency when he was just starting out. Although they were on good terms initially, things started to go sour when Oscar couldn't support Canelo when he lost to Floyd Mayweather. There was no doubt that Canelo was pissed at his loss, so he ended terms with De La Hoya and Golden Boy Promotions. De La Hoya further said that he and Canelo had a good relationship for 10 years, but when he told Canelo to take some help after his loss to Floyd, Alvarez completely snapped. In addition, Oscar commented that he was struggling with drugs and alcohol at the time Canelo had fought Mayweather. Oscar elaborated on what Canelo had done in response. What does he do? He puts his foot on my neck and wants to take me down. But the only thing Canelo has on me is my personal life. And now my personal life is amazing. That's exactly why we're thriving so much as a company. Alvarez will go up against his next opponent, Edgar Berlanga, on Mexican Independence Day, which will be a battle of Mexico versus Puerto Rico. Canelo commented that he didn't really care which fighter he fought next as long as he was getting a payday. You know, I, I was in my vacation, and Eddie, my trainer and manager, and Luis, Luis de Cubas and all Jaimon, uh, they call me and say, we have this, this fight, and I say, you know, I don't care. I don't give up what fight is coming. I just put it there and I'm ready. Canelo is in a position where he is the superstar of boxing, despite many controversies that surround the champion. With the four major boxing federations delaying fights and governing the matches, Canelo said that it's difficult to maintain all the belts. Alvarez was of the opinion that he has fought everybody, and he is definitely in a position where he can demand his own fights. Later on, Canelo turned his attention to De La Hoya. While being furious at De La Hoya, Alvarez responded, Oscar is mad because I am the diamond in the golden boy. Golden boy promotions is not the same without me. That's why Oscar keeps on disrespecting me. In addition, Canelo shockingly revealed that Oscar stole money from him, and he has all the proof. Previously, Oscar accused Canelo of defaming him, but Alvarez shunned all those claims by saying that he has lawyers that can prove otherwise. Once again, Oscar De La Hoya claps back at Canelo Alvarez, claiming that if he was in his prime, then he would knock out Canelo easily. Wait. Somebody told you to fight Canelo. Canelo? Come on, uh... You know, in my prime, I would have just tapped so good. Easy, quick. Easy work? Easy work. He's flat-footed. He walks on quicksand, so anyway. Oscar was of the opinion that the UFC fight will definitely steal Canelos' show. He stated, everybody's going to want to see it, bro. The sphere you don't want to miss, or are you going to go see the Canelo fight um, in Vegas T-Mobile? That's going to be interesting, right? Yeah. I look, I hate the shit out of Canelo. I don't like him, but I literally think the sphere is going to steal the show. On the other hand, 
Oscar De La Hoya found another target to bully, who is Edgar Berlanga, Canelo's next opponent. De La Hoya gave Berlanga a shut-up call and said that pre-fight hype toughens fighters mentally, but blasts the Mexico versus Puerto Rico marketing as misleading. He argued that Berlanga has New York roots, and he doesn't truly represent Puerto Rico. That takes me to Edgar Berlanga, who is fighting Canelo on September 14. Now he claims he has a whole country behind him. Edgar, bro, you're from Brooklyn. I think I'm more Puerto Rican than you are, and I only lived there for six years. Puerto Rico doesn't claim you, bro. Oscar further commented that the Canelo and Berlanga fight is something that nobody wanted. He disrespected both Canelo and Edgar because Alvarez continued to duck David Benavidez. De La Hoya even claimed that Canelo is making a huge mistake by making enemies with Dana White in the UFC Sphere Arena on Mexican Independence Day. De La Hoya believes that the UFC event will attract a lot more attention and overshadow the boxing match. Edgar Berlanga did not remain far behind in the insulting response towards Oscar. Berlanga wrote, Get off my dick, Oscar. You was dying to sign me last year and flew in to sit down with me and again was on my dick. I'ma have a bag of coke for you. The enmity between Saul Canelo Alvarez and Oscar De La Hoya continues to grow as time passes. Accusations between one and the other are a daily occurrence. However, the American promoter recently revealed that the Mexican boxer has just made a new enemy who is none other than Turki Al Al Sheikh. The recent drama started when Canelo Alvarez refused to work with Turki Sheikh on the Terence Crawford fight, disrespecting Turki in the process. My response to Turki is this. Yesterday they, they text me. They text me and say, we can talk about the fight in February with Crawford. Yeah. They call me, they text me yesterday and I say, look, I'm not going to talk about any other fight. I'm focused 100% on this fight. Look, I don't like the way he talk, and I'm not in this position because of any. I'm in this position. If he wants to work with me, it's in my way, not in their way. What was I don't he need like, it. What, what didn't you like about how he approached? Like, what was it's, it's, it's not, the, it's, it's not the, 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 yeah. the way to approach. It's not the way to approach to me. Look, I respect everybody, and I respect Turkey, but I look. If, if he wants to work with me, he need to be in my way. Turkey Al Al Sheikh gave Canelo a stern response by saying that he has decided to disregard the Canelo and Crawford fight. This was mainly because Canelo continued to disrespect Turkey and did not give him any time for negotiations. Furthermore, Oscar said that Canelo is basically saying that he doesn't want to fight. De La Hoya added his comments for Canelo not facing Benavidez. I thought I would never say this, but Canelo's scared, literally. I thought I would as a fighter. I know fighters are not scared, but wow, we've been begging Canelo, please, Canelo, please, we want this fight. I want it as a fan and I want this fight because it's a great fight for boxing, for the sport we love. Later on, Oscar said that Turkey is trying to make the best fights, but Canelo doesn't want that. De La Hoya further commented that he doesn't know what goes on in Canelo's mind. Canelo is being far too arrogant and egotistical. Oscar said that Canelo should make the fight happen because it's going to be the biggest payday of his career anyway, even though he may not get the exact amount that he is demanding. Meanwhile, Canelo Alvarez mocked Turkey once again by making fun of the way in which the Saudi royal moved. <laughs> it is reported that Canelo was demanding close to $150 million from His Excellency Turkey Al Al Sheikh to fight Terence Crawford. As Canelo's fight with Edgar Berlanga gets closer, Alvarez's attitude is changing, which is very different from the previous fighters he battled. Canelo usually stares down at his opponents, doesn't talk much, and gets on with the fight. But with Edgar Berlanga, the case is totally different. On multiple occasions, Berlanga gave Canelo warnings to show some fireworks in the ring. Canelo responded to Edgar's absurd claims of knocking him out in the ring. This other Canelo comes out when somebody talks about him. It's the other Canelo there. You will see September 14th is going to be a different Canelo there. It's my mind and just try to kill him and just wake up that monster. Uh. Alvarez gave Berlanga a brutal warning ahead of his Mexican Independence Day fight. He said that he will make Berlanga feel pain for seven or eight rounds, then he will not go past the eighth round. On the other hand, Edgar Berlanga is committed to beating Canelo as he explained that the most important factor that will let him beat the champion is the mental aspect of the fight. Edgar further added, there's nothing physical about this fight. You know, 
know what I'm saying. It's all this. It's mental. It's the intelligence. And that's what's going to make the difference. You know what I'm saying? It's not everybody keeps saying about the power, about, oh, you big, you strong, it's cool, he's powerful, he's strong too, he could punch too. You know what I'm saying. But it's about the mentality, the IQ. Canelo Alvarez shared why he picked Edgar Berlanga over all the other fighters. He praised Berlanga for his talent in boxing and said that it will be a really good fight for the Mexican fans. What made you pick this young lion right here? I think I pick him because he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter, a strong fighter, young fighter. And it's Mexico versus Puerto Rico, always history for, for boxing. And I think it's, it's a good fight for, for, for the people. Berlanga shared that he is committed to making a stoppage against Canelo in the fight. Edgar doesn't like to give predictions about his fight, but he thinks that there will be a major show. Canelo, on the other hand, gave Edgar a stern message. He shared, when you feel the power is different, that's the little butt pack of big punch, that's the difference, that's the difference. I told you, Mental, that, you know, you know, they don't see outside in of the ring, but when they come into the ring, it's just, they see everything, oh, now I know why, oh, so when they sit there and they watching on TV. Alvarez has fought many formidable adversaries in the past, including Floyd and Golovkin. Canelo dismissed Berlanga, stating he is nothing compared to the previous fighters he has faced. Just mention some of the names that you have gone up against. Kayla Plant, former champion, Floyd Mayweather, just to name a few. Uh, where does he rank on that list? He's nothing compared to them. Come on. Come on. You can, you can, you can, you, you can ask me that kind of question. Canelo points out that fighters like Floyd Mayweather and Gennady Golovkin are not only physically gifted, but are also renowned for their exceptional ring intelligence and experience. These are fighters who have tested him at the highest levels of boxing. And Canelo believes that Berlanga simply doesn't measure up to them in terms of skill, strategy, or mental sharpness. Furthermore, Canelo compared Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy promotions with PBC. Alvarez confidently stated that he does way better with PBC than Golden Boy, and he should have signed with PBC from the very start. He also shared that he didn't do bad with Golden Boy promotions either, but he likes to work with everybody. Meanwhile, Canelo Alvarez responded to De La Hoya for his disturbing behavior against the champion. Canelo claimed that Oscar steals money from his fighters, and the same thing happened with Golovkin. Y para este imbécil intento de gente que tengo aquí a mi izquierda, que no se le olvide que yo ya vine siendo el Canelo a Estados Unidos, y que solamente lucró con mi nombre, nunca perdí un solo centavo, sino más ganó dinero. So, ¿Ya le pagaste a Golovkin lo que le quería robar? Todo. Sí, muy bien, porque también si, sí, también, pero si no hubiera si no hubiera metido a mis abogados me lo robas. Es lo único, lo único que hace este hombre ser una lacra del boxeo, robarle a los boxeadores. Canelo repeated countless times that Oscar is a bad person and he stole money from him, as well as captured all the attention that his fighters deserved. Oscar de la Hoya wasn't far behind in abusing Canelo on social media. He said that Alvarez continues to go around and defames his name, but in reality, Canelo is afraid to fight David Benavides. Canelo, I just saw another video where you're still talking all you say is that, oh, he stole from me. Well, obviously, aside from defaming me, why don't you look inside your own circle? Because I know for a fact that people are stealing from you. Um, by the way, you lined my pockets, you made Mungia a lot of money, all because you're afraid of David Benavides. In another interview, Eddie Hearn didn't have very supporting remarks about Oscar De La Hoya either, since he is continuously spreading hate towards Matchroom. Hearn alarmingly stated that he doesn't know why Oscar has bad blood against him. Oscar De La Hoya has had a lot to say um, about these shows, and then all of a sudden we see a video last week with him and Turkey Al Sheikh. Have you been in any discussions with Oscar? Have you met with Oscar since that? And are you happy that he's now on board with the Riyadh season shows? No, I asked to meet Golden Boy this week, and they blew me out. What was that with regards to? Shakur Cepeda? Mm, possibly, but also just in general, I think we should we should talk. But well, why why is there the reluctance on Oscar's side? You've just made it clear here on this interview that you want I to meet him. I tell you, Colin, why don't you can ask Oscar De La Hoya so to be sure to be fair. Hearn is the promoter for Edgar Berlanga, and he is committed to delivering the best fight possible. Eddie Hearn later said that Oscar hates the fact that he is here on the Riyadh season. He also hates the fact that Matchroom Boxing is the best promoter in the UK. Hearn revealed that part of Oscar's animosity towards him stems from Matchroom selling out entire stadiums and having great TV deals. He pointed out that De La Hoya shouldn't spread hate, 
rather appreciate what is happening. Eddie also said that Oscar is a legend when it comes to boxing, but he doesn't want to do business with Matchroom, and it's going to affect his fighters in the long run. What are your thoughts on Oscar and Canelo? Is it fair for both Canelo and Oscar to continue this beef for so long? Let us know in the comments section below and subscribe for more content like this.